Citrus. This plant has roots coming from every which way, out of the bottom, all of the aerial roots, and it's just a strong and fast grower. Not only that, but it has a beautiful variegation along the leaves. And from what I've seen, as long as you keep it in cutting form and not in tissue culture, it is very stable in variegation. This is a cutting I have of this mother. She's about a month old from the cutting and transplant, and she's doing really well. And this is how good her roots are. A very vigorous plant. It's about a month old from going into aeroid mix. This is the 3 2 one aeroid mix. For light, give the philodendron Paradiso Verde a lot of light, just like you would with your Monsteras. Temperature, not very finicky. I've had her down into the 60s and almost to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, no issues. Humidity is more crucial. I've had the leaves kind of dissolve away and get mushy and flat on me, so be careful of that in the higher humidity ranges. That would be really above the 70% relative humidity. And as I've said, this plant is in tissue culture, so the prices are coming down. But as long as you get that variegation in your primary leaves, you shouldn't have to worry too much about unstable variegation. I have seen it tissue cultured where the tissue doesn't have a lot of variegation in it. But as long as you see that patterning, you should be good to go. I've never seen root rot on this plant. It does prefer a chunky, well-draining aeroid mix or LECA. I have both versions here and both versions aeroid mix as well as LECA seem to be doing great. I've never run into any issues with pests on the Periso Verde. I still do spray as a maintenance with neem as well as BTI to keep back the fungus gnats and general bugs on the 